Hi, I'm Mark Shepherd. I'm an acupuncturist in Donington, Chidester, West Sussex. As with last time, I hope you're staying safe and well. Today is number four of five, so we're looking at different people types in terms of acupuncture theory. And we're doing this, we can look at uh, how we can understand which type is most key to ourselves and some of its default behaviours and feelings when we're feeling taxed, under strain, or how we just deal with life anyway. The reason being that if we realise what type we're in and we realise that um, there's like a seesaw within the group, so at one end of that seesaw there is the uh, more negative feelings, but on the other end is the more positive feelings, more positive responses to life. If we're within that group, then surely we are able to also fit to experience the more positive side of it, as well as the times that we might currently be feeling the more negative side, and how can we move in that direction towards a positive. So as before, I've got some notes, I've got these here because I want to be able to deliver this to you as best that I can, so excuse me as I'm looking down reading these as we go. So today we're looking at metal types, and again this is an insight rather than being exhaustive, um, but I hope it's interesting and I hope it helps you. So. Metal is about quality. It's about hidden value. Hidden value uh, because it's uh, the metal is like the metal ore in the ground. You can't necessarily see it, but the, the, the good, the quality is in there. It's also about grief and the ability or otherwise to let go. So less positive defaults for a metal type could be a lack of self-worth. And this can manifest in different ways. This can lead to driving ourselves harder and harder um, to be the best and yet not feel a sense of achievement. It can lead to the need for inexpensive and high quality goods to try and fill um, the void of value that's uh, within us. It can lead to giving up or not even bothering. The kind of, well, do you know what, I just can't do it anyway, so why bother? But the trouble with that is we never then get the opportunity to find out how good we are. The inability to take in congratulations or respect from others. So we might have done a wonderful job in someone's cars. That says to you, that's amazing. But somehow you just can't absorb it. You just kind of duck it, change the subject. And disconnecting from the world and people. So, you know, the self-worth isn't there. It's just easy to, to disconnect and just protect yourself from that. An inability to let go of hurts from the past or feelings uh, that you could have done better or just being just stuck in grief and just a feeling generally of being empty but the positive aspects are I feel worthy and connected with the world and those around me I can work hard I achieve and I can feel a sense of achievement I let go and move on and letting go doesn't mean forgetting it just means the ability to feel let go and move on. I allow in new ideas and inspiration. I can accept the compliments of others. I can give recognition to others. I connect with others and see their value and talents. I feel inspired and I can inspire others. So, wouldn't it be nice to be around someone or work for someone or be taught by someone who takes the time to really connect with you and who you are. Someone who's inspired, works, higher, works hard and strives for quality. Someone who's aware of their value in the world, but also recognises your value in the world. Well, that's what metal types can bring. So the sort of acupuncture that I do, one of the styles works very much with this side of things. Uh, the theory has points which are there to um, help with these types of feelings and moving towards more positive aspects. So as I can't put in needles right now, how can we possibly look at helping? Well, what I do for myself with this, what I find helpful is self-coaching. So I look at the positive aspects. And when you talk to coaches, uh, a lot of them will say, take your goals and but express them as if they've already been achieved. Try and bring them into the now. So all these positive aspects I've mentioned as if they've already happened. So just to recap them. So I feel worthy and connected with the world and those around me. I can work hard, I achieve, and I feel a sense of achievement. I let go and move on, and that doesn't mean forgetting. 
I allow in new ideas and inspiration. I can accept the compliments of others. I can give recognition to others. I can connect with others and see their value and talents. I feel inspired and I can inspire others. So try it. If you'd like to try it, just think about, you know, when you're facing difficulties, that having the reverse and just expressing it in the, in the present tense. And also, as I said last time, if right now you are really struggling with emotional health and, and well-being, then do look at the NHS website for sources of uh, support that you can telephone. Please pick up the phone and do that. Do it because last time we're talking about Earth and Earth can feel very guilty about um, taking time for themselves. The, the, the metal folks out there, do it because you, as the advert says, you are worth it. Just go out there, get the help that you need. Other than that, I hope this was interesting. I hope it was helpful. Do post below and let me know. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.